Good morning. Happy Friday. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, SmartHelping.com here. And we've got a really cool model. It's an upgrade of basically a customer resource planning pipeline manager. Um, I have never done anything specifically like this. I've done a few different versions of uh, sales pipeline uh, templates, but this one I think is the best. It's the most... Um, you know company ready like a company could just come in here and start entering data and it's ready to go it doesn't take much customization um, and it's useful my other two templates for crm are more of um projection type and a little bit um just not ready for um use without modification this one you can really start using right away um so a couple of just general things I'm doing on this template, you will see that I've got workbook navigation, so you can click on any of these links and go to any tab at the bottom. This just helps because a lot of times you'll be stuck on a tab and you don't want to scroll all the way over or search for the, the tab down here. So you just want to you know, click on a, a given one and go to it. So that's been added to every single page. Um, so it's a little bit more like a website. Uh, in general, uh, this template, if you purchase it, you just go to file, make a copy, so you get your own version. Um, and then let's just go through how it works. Uh, so we start, the very first place we start is, so you open up this template, you're going to want to define your drop downs. And so what we have here is your unique list of customers. So as you have new customers come in, this is where you put them, whatever their name or ID is. Then you want to define your pipeline status. Now I've tried to do it so it could basically fit anybody. So you've got leads, which are people who are like on the hook, but you haven't really made appointments with. Um, they're kind of asking questions, you're communicating, but there's no appointments. Then we've got appointments. Uh, then negotiating, and then uh, closed, possible churn, and lost client. So there's these different stages um, basically coming into the pipeline, being a customer, and possibly leaving. So I think this was a new way of me defining how you can move customers around in a way that I think adding this negotiating here impossible churn is something I've never seen or done before but I think that's useful and it's nuanced enough to really say get a snapshot of what is the status status of all your customers each morning what work where do you need to start it's great for organization um, for and organize any organization um, I just put tab identifiers here so you can see you know lead is is mapped to this one Appointment is mapped to this one. Negotiate is mapped to this one. So you just need to make sure if you change the names of these, you're also going to want to change the names of the tabs accordingly, and it goes right in order. So number one cell here is always going to be um, going to this first one. You can see um, pipeline says only leads come in here, and that's hard-coded into the formula that's bringing this data in. You see the filter formula. So we've got leads going there appointments always go to this one so we could change the name of this and you could change the name of the tab that's fine it won't mess anything up um, but you just need to make be aware of that's how this works so this this is a bit more rigid now if you didn't want this many uh, pipeline stages in your process you can easily easily cut them down and delete tabs that's fine um, you just have to adjust the formulas on the summary tab so it doesn't uh, basically you just You'll see in a, re a reference error if you do delete a tab, and all you have to do is just delete that row and move it up, and and it, it'll still work just fine. Um, the one thing is, so with lost client, because the summary tab wants to do a count of customers in annual value for um, customer types and for salesmen, um, Obviously, you don't want to include all the customers that have left in this calculation. So this is not counting any customer in this data that's listed as lost client or listed as whatever is in 
this cell. So this cell, and you could you cannot just like delete data out of here and put it up to here. You would actually have to move this around, like drag the cell around, so you didn't have an error. Um, but this position is always going to be related to in the data tab to not counting in the account executive and customer type. Now it'll still come into here as normal in the pipeline status because it's just counting and, and totaling the, the annual value for each status. Um, but you would get messed up here if you just decided to, you know, change this to a different something that was like, you know, a prospective client. And it, it, so this is the only one that's got really a specific um, thing that's hard, it's, it's doing. Other than that, you could change these all around name them whatever you want just make sure they're in the order of the tabs at the bottom and I try to make this so it was broad enough that this is pretty much gonna fit you're not gonna have to do much customization here if you want to use it like the, it like as it is now uh, so we got customer type so this could be a range of anything um, I just put standard pro premium in a lead because you might have a customer that's you know not actually a customer um, you could have churned customers that were in a given type, that's fine, or lost clients. Um, so that's just another slicer that you, you might want to use. You don't have to. You could just scrap this whole thing. or This, this column won't matter uh, if you don't really want to use it. Same with the account executives, so salesmen. If you want to track the salesmen that were responsible for each client, you can do that. Um, and you'll all these drop downs we just went over you can see are going to show up in your data tab and that's when you basically you're entering a customer let's say you first enter a customer let's just do this one there's no calculations here so you don't got to worry about messing any of that up it's all hard coded stuff and drop down so let's say we add customer 8 they just came on, so they're a lead, or yeah, a lead. And we're not, we don't know what they're possibly going to sign up for yet, so we'll just put a lead for the type. And the salesman or account executive here is, let's say, Rob. And the annual dollar value of this client, let's say, is 650000 You can also type in their email, phone here, any notes. And that'll be useful. Just trying to see what happened to nine here in this navigation. I'll have to see the figure that out in a second. Um, so there he is. It's the Lee customer six, and I didn't mean to do six. I wanted to do eight. Um. So now, based on this being lead, it's going to come into our leads tab here. Let's see, customer eight, lead, 650,000. I don't know why this didn't come through for that. It should be nine. Okay, so customer six is a lead. Now let's say we change it over to we're now, we've now set an appointment. So now customer eight, you see no longer on the lead tab and now is in the appointment tab. And let's go back to our data entry. Let's say we've been going for a while and we've actually negotiated and we've now closed the client. So we're going to closed. We're going to say is a pro and this is still what we expected to be 650,000 and Rob's still a salesman. So now it's going to be not in appointment, not in negotiating, but in the closed tab. So this gives you a nice snapshot of all the different stages of your pipeline at a given time. And you can see the counts and totals of each stage right here. Now let's say it's been a while. Uh, he's called. He's trying to cancel. Uh, you're trying to save him from canceling. So you're going to put them in a possibly churn. So it might be leaving. 
Now he shows up here. He's no longer in the closed. Tab. So this shows you how much you might be losing. And then this tab will show you if they actually do leave. Cancel the account or close the account. Then um, they show up on here. And again, it's helpful. You got their email and phone there. So salesman or whatever, whoever managing this can easily contact any of the, the clients in each tab as they see it. And then you can see to kind of summarize all of this in one page, we've got the you've got the summary tab. So you've got the count of each uh, pipeline stage, how many clients are in each one, and the annual value. Um, and then you can go by customer type as well and by account executive. So that's pretty useful. Uh, and then we've got charts that just show basically these three um, sets of tables in a chart form so you can see client count and dollar value for pipeline status so you can see leads here's how much money we got in leads here's how many clients are in leads appointments negotiating closed now you might want to you know there's all kinds of different customizations you can do because your closed um, dollar annual dollar value might be a lot more than your other pipeline stages so you might want to put that on a different axis and then just remove the count um, so that you can see all the data you want um, but might not this might be just fine uh, then you've got the second charts client count and dollar value per customer type so it's like you've got this much in standard this much in pro premium and this much in leads then you've got the same deal but you're doing it on a based on account executive or salesman you know, Ted's got this much in annual revenue, Jim's got this much, and so on, and then the count of each client for each one as well. So this is just some performance metrics there um, that could be useful. Again, a ton of customization can be done to make any of this fit. Generally, um, I can do customizations to fit your specific needs. None of this is too complicated, though, and it's not too hard to, to figure out on your own. Um, and that's done on purpose so that it's pretty usable. But if you need me to go in and do anything, I can do that. My standard rate is just $75 an hour. Um, and to this template, I don't see anything taking more than 30 minutes to an hour to really do unless you really have some in-depth changes you want. Um, the instruction tab should help you with any other questions that could come up. Um, And so, yeah. Uh, oh, so a couple, two more things. So I did try to do some colors here. And I had to get my wife to help me because I'm half colorblind. But you can see here, anything that's listed as negotiating is going to highlight in the negotiating color because that's like your most, you know, those things are like hot clients or, or, or uh, on the, you know, they're close to becoming, you know, real money, real revenue for your company, but they're not yet. Um, so you might want those to be highlighted. So I've just done a, a conditional format here. So if anything is listed as negotiating, it'll turn that color. You can see here if I put this in negotiating, it turns that color. Anyone, it has it all the way down. Um, so I thought that was pretty useful and I didn't want to do all the colors. Like you can see I have color codes here for each stage. So leads is this kind of color. Appointments is that color, negotiating, and then closed, possible churn, loss. So these are color-coded for a reason to make you kind of, it's easier to visualize what each tab means quickly when you have colors identified with it. But I didn't want to make this like a rainbow in the data entry, so I just wanted to really be able to, you can really point out what is like, you know, about to be real money. Um, so you might want to identify that. Uh, I've also done filters on all this, so if you just want to see a certain status right on the data tab itself, instead of going to each um, individual tab, you can just do that here. Same with customer type, account executive. Uh, you do, you know, or you show just a certain uh, customer list. Um, you can do the same thing in each tab here. So let's say you've got a couple appointments. Let's say you just wanted to see um, appointments for a certain customer you clear that click customer four you see this will just show that um, 
or if you wanted to see only uh, sale only county executives of Jim, well, they're both Jim, so they both show up. But if you had a bunch here, you probably like you probably would in a real situation. You might have 50 or or 100, and all by all different account executives and all different customer types, and uh, you might just want to see the ones from a certain uh, account executive, and you can filter that easily right there. So that's about it. Um, I think everything is really as straightforward as I can make it. Um, basically, you've got your this is. The data tab in the drop down are the only places you're going to be entering things. And the data is where you actually start entering things over time. So you might have a thousand or, or ten thousand rows here over the long term, which would be fine. Um, and then that just based on whatever the status in B is, it's pushing it to different um, tabs here. So it's really easy for like a manager to look at this and know the current status of everything, check in, do their work. Uh, and that's the point of it. Just manage your uh, customer pipeline or sales pipeline. Uh, oh, I didn't talk a whole bunch. So this is just the annual value per client. We're assuming there's a, some kind of annual value there. And you can enter that and that will flow through the, to everything as you've seen. All right. That's all I got for you. Um, the link to buy this will be in the, the description box below uh, from smarthelping.com. It'll be, if you want to go specifically, it'll be on the financial models tab. It'll be the most latest one on the Google Sheet templates. So I've got a couple other ones in here. Um, and the cost, this is just going to be $45. And if you want it, and if you do purchase it, I will send you the link to this workbook. And you'll be on your way. All right. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on the next one.